what we're doing here is we're looping over queries. What does that mean? So we added a loop node batch size one, and we're essentially when this is tested right here, it will go through each query and it will just like loop over each query. This just means it will search for each query, right? It will go through um, to visually represent this to you. It will go through this query. Then it will go through this query, through this query. It will scrape through this query, right? And then on and on and on. Obviously, you can put just one query here if you want, um, you know, but that's that's about it. That's how it works. Uh, let me just save this. That's how it works, the looping node. Now, what we did, we added a looping node. We added a loop to happen and to execute scraper. Um, done a node is completely empty, but we added a, a, a like a execute scraper for query, which is this workflow right here. I will break down this, this workflow as well. Uh, and then we added a wait node because we added like two seconds wait between each execution just so it's not spamming. Um, so, you know, so that we have the time and then that uh, query is back going back here to the loop because it's looping, right? So it's going, if we start this, it's going through this, it's again looping, it's going through this, again, it's looping, it's going through this, and again, it's looping, right? So it's looping through each of these queries right here. So that's what we have for this first part of the workflow. Now, again, this is just like a sub, uh, sub uh, workflow execution, uh, right? This is how it works. And then by ID and then workflow ID, which is the ID from this right here. Right, uh, and uh, obviously, you know, you can just go here and you can add that uh, workflow ID. As you can see, this is the workflow ID right here. Or you can just manually add the workflow ID by ID and then just add it manually. Okay. From there, what we have is we have a um, like an execution node, right? So as you can see, start um, scraper workflow. So this is an execute workflow node. Uh, this is how it's called if you are looking for it. And as you can see here, we have a JSON item query and then the query will be basically one of these queries from here. So that's what we added, right? And as you can see, this is how it looks like in the query. Uh, and obviously it's going from here, right? Because we're looping it.